for the Knights is going to be number 55, Tyler Karchner. Talk about someone who has stepped up for the Knights as of late. Yeah, well, Malachi was down for an injury. Tyler stepped he stepped in the starting lineup, and I think you're going to see Tyler and Malachi just kind of trading off and giving each other a breather, and I think that's what the coaches wonder. They want to keep them fresh. They want to keep Malachi fresh. They want to keep Tyler fresh, and there's a lane violation, and we're going to need it. Also checking in. Also checking in for the Knights was number 12, Sam Jex. Yep. I, Sam's been doing a great job off just kind of keeping everything steady, playing good defense, and uh, we'll have to thank uh, uh, Sean Jones for that lane violation. Give Koa another opportunity. Koa for the second shot. That's no good. Tyler, um, Tyler get the, gets the rebound. Wow, what hustle there, Tyler? What hustle off the offensive board? Baker goes up and one. He's gonna draw, get the foul, and he's gonna shoot, and he's gonna go for one. Uh, that's that's, a, that's been a big difference these last uh, few games for the watching Tyler just be more aggressive on the offensive boards. And Koa puts this in. It's essentially a four-point play. Yeah. So the foul was on number 22. That's going to go to Timothy Patterford, his second personal foul. Also checking back in for the Pacers was number 42, Bo Bryant. Has check checks back in. Koa to make it a three-point. He yeah. finds that one to yeah. go in. That was four-point possession there for the Knights. We could use a few more of those. Almost reads it. 42 for the jump shot. That's no good. Rebounded by Baker. Baker just showing that he can be anywhere and everywhere on the court. Well, he's certainly an all-around player. Inside he to Karchner. Karchner, no shot. Rebounded by Connolly. Connolly from shot, no good. Rebounded by number 42, Bo Bryant. And he's going to take it down. Number three for the. Well, the coaches thought he traveled. I don't know if he passed that before he landed, but great defense by Connolly. Hard to tell from this angle. Over to the corner. They're really getting him off the three point line well. Tough three closing for the out. Shot. Yeah. No good. Rebounded by Vex. Defense by the Knights. They're really closing out hard on these threes, and they're by having Jack. to dribble out of it. That's good ball movement by the Knights. And then we can attack it in there. Cole is going to get fouled on that one. That's going to be. Look at Dane. Dane is the streakiest shooter I've ever seen. He, you don't know when he's going to fire one, two, or three in a row from the three-point line. Koa gets two for two. Checking in. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Let, you know, press you, a pressing team, and, and we, have the, we have the athletes to do it. Outside to 12, inside to 42. 42 for jumper. That's going to fall in for two. That's two points for Bo Bryant. Makes it a two-point game in favor of the Knights right now, 10 to 8. Good movement, attack inside. the basket. Alex Weiland goes in for two. <laughs> Players for the Knights that has that quickness and that and that maneuverability. In a, in a junior varsity game earlier, Alex had one of the best dunks I've ever seen in a basketball game. And so it's great to see him come off with a spark. Threes, no good. Rebounded back into two. Oh, that was a tough break. Dane thought he was tipping it to his teammate. Had a hand on, the other hand was kind of holding off the defense. Well, there's still by uh, William, William Peace, and then we still are right back. So, no harm, no foul there. Yeah, the, the coach was complaining because they had a reset of the of the shot clock. Well, there was possession. They stole the ball, had possession. We stole it back. So I think the shot clock is fine. But dead ball will allow us to make the substitute. Substitution yeah. coming in for the Knights. Number Ref 15, Abe Ref Connolly coming back in. Yeah. Referees agree. There was change of possession. Alex passes it back in to J Mac. Oh, Karchner, after getting it stripped out of his hands, is able to find the ball and straight that's back great, into the that's basket. That's a great play. They run for Tyler down low. and I, Yeah, at first I thought he was going to get stripped, and in a second effort, he converts on that. Tyler's showing great ball awareness there. 
That's gonna be number two with Sean Jones with the two points there. Yeah, that was tough luck. We had the ball, loose ball in the middle and they came up with it and got an easy one. Kennedy and Baker are getting ready to check back in after the next dead ball. Connolly over What's to Jax. J-Mac feeds it into Karchner. Karchner gets the easy layup for two. Well, and that's going to wear a team out. You wear that shot clock down below 10, and then you end up getting a layup. That's demoralizing for another team. And you consistently do that, it's going to wear on a team. And that's, that's what they did against Pfeiffer in the second half to pull it out to a 15-point win. 20 over to 12. 12 outside to 42. 42 inside jumper. He's going to find that to go in for two. The worst shot in basketball, a 17-foot jump shot right inside the three-point line. So that's a, about as long as a two-pointer as you can make. Yeah, but it's been working for him so Bo far. Bo Bryan is their leading shooter. They're leading by percentage, so they're going to have to watch out for him. J-Mac dribbles inside, gets it to go. Floater, that's a tough to guard. Great to see that go in for J-Mac. You know, and the more the more the nights we get involved on the offensive end, I think the tougher we are. Partner over to Owens. Owens to Borders. Borders, no shot. Rebounded by number 12, 23 of the Knights. Wyland up to J-Mac. Karchner inside, just left wide open. Yeah, That's gr good great pass two. by J-Mac. It was a great screen up on top. That little screening action at the foul line is tough to guard. Looks like we got a line change ready to come back in. We're going to stay fresh. I think he wants to keep everybody fresh. Keep the pressure on this William Peace team. 12 inside, passes it off to five. Parton back to 12. Over to two, two for a jumper. That ain't going to be anywhere. Rebounded by J-Mac. Another great defensive possession. They had to get an uncomfortable shot. Knights come down with, with the rebound, and they're working around on offense. J-Max over to Jax. Jax for the three. Ain't going to be anywhere. Karchner with the rebound. Gets it, gets it to Connolly. Great effort by Tyler. Kicked it back out rather than try to force it in. Tight. Make, make the Pacers play some more defense. Ryland with the ball now. Going to be no. Karchner with the rebound yet again. Tyler is all over the place. Go, go Tyler. Tries to show off, and he's going to get fouled. <laughs> That's going to send. Checking in checking in for the Knights is going to be number four, number one, Poe. Got three offensive rebounds. I, I think it seems like it's more than that, but he's just been all over the place. Yeah, I know. Tyler showing showing the coaches, hey, you want to give Malachi a break? I'm your guy. I can do everything he can and maybe even better at the moment. Yeah, we got we got a good rotation going now. Now Tyler's going to get a little rest. We got Malachi in. We got, uh, you know, Alex and Sam Jex came in off the bench and just gave us a couple minutes of we didn't lose anything. And Alex got some good rebounds. Jex, uh, Sam Jex out there playing solid. So if our bench will play well, give these starters uh, a rep. Lead point scorers is Timothy Paddeford for the Pacers with seven, followed by Michael Dune for four, with Dulin for four. For Southern Virginia, you got Koa Baker with six and Tyler Karchner with six. Three outside to 20 for Borders. Borders gonna find that inside drive out to five, five for three. Air ball, no good Another there. Has a great defense possession. That was an air ball off of off of Tyler Parton for great the air help, ball. Great help. One shot now. Ibsen to Sean. Over to the Jacks. That's a hole. Looks like he uh, he was being held all the way down the line. Is, is what uh, the coaches are asking for. And they have a case. Sometimes uh, a smaller defender against a bigger defender, it seems like they can do a little bit more holding and grabbing and get away with it. Checking in for the Pacers with number 10, William Jenkins, and then also number two, Sean Jones. Kennedy to inbound. 
Going to go to Ibsen. Uh, Ibsen for inside for two. Another, if you're the opposing coach, you got to be a kind of frustrated. Bryant so. with the ball inside to two to Jones. Three inside for the jumper. And he's going to get fouled on that one. That's going to be a good basket, good for two. That's going to be on number 32, Ibsen. Shot. Alex Ryland checking back in for the ninth for Jax. Going to shoot for one. Jax, that's going to fall, that's going to fall in. Going to have right. Any problem for Sean. Over to Ibsen. Ibsen inside to Karchner. Karchner gets that stripped by number five. Tyler Patton. Yeah, it was a great execution. You just got, you know, those, you got to be aware of that. Outside to three to five. That's going to be a foul on Alex Ryland. That's going to be his first. As their three shooters are kind of on the quiet side right now. Forty-two for three. No shot. Ibsen with Con Connolly, Connolly with yeah. the rebound. My apologies on that one. Kennedy's gonna go ahead and take it. Kennedy inside. Nate doesn't find any a rebound by number two, Sean Jones. Yeah, that was a good take. They they guard you that tough. Look like there's some contact on the shot. No call. Look at 42. He's grabbing a hold of him. I'm not sure what the ref's looking at, but he's grabbing him, elbowing. This is what the coaches are saying. Let's see if the Knights can just settle down and, and Dillon is a tough guard. Up to the half court. That one's gonna get blocked by number 42. Bo by Bryant. Yeah, he's right there. It was a good defensive play. I mean, William Peace is showing why they're second in the league. They've only, yeah, solid run for Tyler. You've got to, what happens is you get, uh, when you're a big guy, sometimes these little guys like to come in and strip it from low when you can't see it. And so you keep the ball up high, squeeze a little bit tighter. But uh, Knights are going to have the ball on the out of bounds. So I think we're two for two for score game plan. We've just had a few missed layups inside, a few unfortunate uh, turnovers or ball knocked out of our hands inside. Uh, but defensively, we're playing solid. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely it's an action-packed game here in Knights Arena for today. Be number 55, Tyler Karchner, and also for for the Knights checking in for the Pacers is going to be number two, Sean Jones, and number five, Tyler Patton. That's going to send number 22 to the bench, and also number number 42. Oh, good fun fake by Koa. Good fake by Koa Baker gets him gets him the open sh open two. Great execution on the out of bounds. Another great set piece by the Knights. And that was patience by Koa. Pump faked, gathered himself, went up strong. Outside the twenty. Oh, great score by Sean. Kennedy just reads that up to J Mac inside to Karchner. Karchner is going to go up. No good. Rebounded by Connolly. That's going to be a jump ball. No, I think it's a foul. Yep, that's going to be a foul. That's going to go Michael to Doolin. Michael Doolin, I think. Yeah. That's going to go to Sean Jones, his first personal foul. Oh, okay. He's on number two instead of three. That was a great fast break by the Knights, getting the ball back after that great defensive stance. Kennedy outside to J Mac. Inside to Karchner. Karchner. It's going to find the end one. Little good, little good step, step by Karchner there. Boy, that was a great one on one move. Took him to the middle, spun on him. Guy hit him on the arm and went up. He's strong enough to take that contact. And that's what the Knights got to do. Underneath, they got to be strong enough to take contact. And it seems like the stronger you are, the more you're going to get the calls. If you go up weak or get the ball knocked out, the referees aren't going to cut you a break but boy when you go up strong and you take contact and you finish it seems like the referees are going to say okay we're going to call a foul on you on that Karchner makes it a three makes it a three-point play makes it a one possession game for the Knights checking in was number 23 Alex Ryland for Koa Baker yeah. he, he brought a spark early in the first half I think coach is looking for something 
uh, like that again. It'll spark off the bench. And then also checking in for the Pacers was number 32, Ryan Bottomley for number for number 42, Bo sorry, not 42 for Bo. Jay Matt, he's just got his hands all over the place on defense. He's, he's quite a pest out there. No shot, no good there. Almost almost go, almost a goal 10 call by Tyler. Big Kennedy got the rebound and he's gonna get a foul. That's gonna send Baker to the line shooting too. No, this is an entirely different offense from the first couple minute, couple seconds of the of the half of the half earlier. Yeah, we this got is down nine. Entirely different team. We got down nine, and, and uh, Tyler came in, gave us a little spark, and, and you can just kind of feel the emotion in the gym kind of building. Yeah, no, Car Karcher's definitely been one of those players that the Knights have looked to, and is is definitely a future leader for the Knights. You know, and this is a big game for the Knights. We're sitting tied for fourth in the conference. You know, we could go anywhere from fourth to seventh. You know, top six make the tournament. And, and so this is a, a huge game for probably more for uh, Southern Virginia than it is for William Peace. William Peace is going to be second or third, most likely. As I said, after that, after that timeout, it's going to send Sean Kennedy to the line shooting two. First one. That one falls in for Kennedy. This is the first first time this game Kennedy has made it to the free throw line. Second one, also good for Kennedy. So he's off to a good start on the free throw. Well, it's good to see that throw. basket go in for, for Sean. He sees the ball going in. I'll, I'll look to see him make Sorry, a couple outside my fault. shots. That's 20 borders, not 22. Bravo! Gonna be going to be a step out of bounds on number five. Uh, you always like that. Tyler Parton. You always like that as a defense. Uh, the offense just steps out of bounds for you. It's going to be a it's going to be a man to man coverage for Kennedy. I'm not sure the basketball court shouldn't be a little bit wider. I've seen a lot of those calls lately where they just step out of bounds. Inside to Tyler. Tyler's going to make it work. No good there. 32 is doing a good job holding holding Karchner. Was a good job by Alex White in stopping the ball on that penetration. Here comes Bo Bryant. Going back to attack, started the second half with eight points. Over to 20. 20 for a jumper. That's no good. Rebounded by, by Connolly. Over to Kennedy. Kennedy inside. No good there. Looking for a foul call. Kennedy breaks it up for quite a second. Coach looking for the foul call there, no call there. Yeah, that's a tough one. It could have gone either way. Ryland working that inside and doing an amazing job holding that off, that penetration off. That's going to be a foul. What is the difference? That's going to go to J Mac. Let's come back from that nine point deficit. First one, that falls, that's going to fall in. Three point play for. Uh, for Pettiford. Alex Ryland, after a quick breather, is going to get ready to check back in. Over to Bate, over to Koa. Koa's going to force that inside. No good. Rebound by Ty, almost rebounded by Karchner. That's going to stay here with the Knights. Checking in is going to be Alex Ryland for Abe Connolly. That's a strong move by Koa. He's just so close. Hopefully we can just get some of those to finish and watch him go in. It's going to, rebounding the ball for the Knights is going to be Baker. Looks like we got, uh, maybe Tyler's got a little blood or something. They're going to clean up here. So let's see what we draw up on the out of bounds. Our out of bounds plays have been spectacular tonight. I'm sure uh, coaches watching this yeah. are going to. Check. Scout the scout the knights and see what we're doing yeah, on our out of bounds be an plays. Up, yeah, an upper body injury for Kai, for Tyler. Carr. It's going to be 40, 45 all with 11 minutes left, and it's going to be inbound by the Pacers. Three for three. That no, yeah, the no referees are asking for a flop. Shooter falls down with no contact. And gonna, that's what the ref, <laughs> we got a call on us on the first play of the game. The referees are, or the coaches are asking for that. Maybe we'll have to have them explain the rules after the game. 
But let's play on Knights. Karshner to Cabin to Connolly over to Kennedy. Kennedy, pump, step back, no good. Porter's gonna take it, take it past. It's gonna go inside to 22. 22 is gonna find that between Connolly and Car he, he's, tu he's tough off the dribble. Karchner. Pettiford is tough off the dribble with the pull up. He's, he's, that's a tough guard, so the Knights are gonna have to adjust their defense for that. Koa on the inside. Little step back, twist move. Karchner is able to Karchner is able to box out and get the rebound and gets it for two. And that's what we need. When those little layups aren't falling, we need someone around the basket to clean it up. And Karchner so far has been able to do that for the team. Dump shot. That's no good. Rebound by Baker. So far, 47, 47, nine and a half left in the game. Baker for two. No good. Rebound. He gets his own rebound. Going up for another round, nothing good. No, gets his own rebound and yet again, and is able to get it in. Finally, after the third third time's the charm for Baker. He's padding the stats out there with the offensive rebounds, but what a fighter! What a fighter by Koa. And that was awkward three, three footwork shot, with no, the step back. No good rebound by number 42, Bryant. Sometimes those threes miss so bad that it's hard to box out because the rebounds come off so far. Looks like the, the the Pacers are kind of disorganized a little bit on offense, not quite sure what they want to do. And wow. That's going to fall in right wow, as, a right prayer as was answered. A it's prayer be a was answered. a timeout for the Pacers, not for sure. But also at the same time, that's what's been working, working for the Knights. Chucking in is going to be Abe Connolly for, for Koa Baker. Give Koa a press for the, for the Pacers. It's going to be a 3-1-1. Three, three, one, one. Connolly with that reach is just able to grab it. Sean for three. No good. Sean tries to shoot for three. Sean's not really much for the three point shooter. He's a little himself. bit off the mark tonight, but uh, Sean looks good. Just a little strong. Just a little strong. William Pace changed up their defense a little bit. And 20 reading the defense out to 22, inside to 42. Out to 20, 20 for a jump, three jump shot. That's no good. Rebound by Alex Rylan. Rylan is going to go ahead and take it. Kennedy is going to take take point. Over to Ibsen to Connolly. Inside to Karchner. Karchner doesn't find it there, unfortunately. Just barely, just not enough power. Just sits just on the rim. Enough, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. No good for number three. He's looking for a foul there. No call there. Ibsen on the outside. Goes to Kennedy, goes back to Kennedy and Kennedy's gonna reset it. Up to Ibsen. Back to Kennedy. Seven seconds left in the shot clock to Karchner. That's going to get taken away by 42. Bryant over to three, three for the three. That's going to fall in. Nothing but net for him. He's confident. He's a confident three shot. Yeah, we've been a, we've done a good job of keeping him from having that open shot. They get an open shot on the fast break. Normally, that's a shot you want the other team to take. That's going to be a travel. It's going to be immediate. Our hands with the ball. We just we, that, that ball just slipped out of our hands a few times tonight. Karchner checking in, also checking at the same time. Alex Ryland checking in for J Mac. Alex Ryland has been has been a good player so far, as, yeah. as well as Karchner. Yeah, he's give J Mac a rest. J Mac has been playing great defense and uh, been really solid, giving him a little breather. Score is currently 56 49 in favor of the Pacers with four minutes, 20 seconds left. Five now has it. That's Parton. Over to over to Dolan. Dolan inside. No good. Rebound by Karchner. Over to Kennedy. Kennedy is going to take it back half to the half court mark. Inside to Karchner. Karchner 
is going to say, yeah. they're going to say that yeah. it was bounced off. And yeah, it, it was deflected out of his hands. Ball came out, then he caught it and put it right back up. So good Hard. concentration by Tider to stay focused on that. That's going to be oh, a, whoa, whoa, That was going to be a block by Ibsen, but he's going to, they're going to call on that one. I think the referee didn't even have a view of what happened. The referee right it's in front. It's going to be immediate timeout. Referee right in front didn't call a foul. That's going to be Tyler Karchner's first personal foul. Did they call it on Tyler? Yeah, they called it on Tyler. Well, Abe was the one that was, uh, I thought Abe was the one that went out and blocked it. No, they, call, they called it on Tyler Karchner. I'll have to go back and take a look at that one. After the foul, first one, that one's going to fall in. Makes it a six-point game. Second shot, that one falls in. Uh, big, another big offensive possession here. Our defense has kind of kept us in the game, I think, so far. So yeah, coming in, into this game, Bryant was shooting 73% from the free throw line. So no foul, no foul called there. Well, that, that was Baker. stripped. The ball was low, and it was good execution. Just got it stripped out of our hands. 20 over to three. Three is going to go inside drive up to 22 over to 42. 42 is going to drive on the inside, outside to three, three for three. He's going to he's going to get a foul on that one. No flop call yet again. Going to be a technical on the coach. Well, I'm not sure what the rule on the flop is. If a guy shoots it and falls down, is that not a flop? So, I mean, that's what the coaches are arguing. And sometimes, you know, you have to get your point across. I, so that's going to be a technical foul for the for the bench. And then Bo Bryant coming in shooting 73 percent, and he's going to add a little bit to that. Second shot for for Bryant. That one falls in. That's going to give the night nice possession after the technical foul. That's going to be out of bounds. Forty-two now has it. Bryant over to twenty-two. Patterford, Patterford back to Bryant. Bryant now has it back after. Brief pass to, to Borders. That's going to be a foul. All right. Well, the Knights are going to have to get some quick score here. Second Maybe one. For three. That one's no good. That's going to that's going to be rebounded by number five, Tyler Patton. Over to 22. 22 is going to try and find the inside. Well, what, a bit, what an effort by the Knights. Didn't give up down 11 with just over a minute. Made it a, had a had, they gave themselves a chance, but uh, you know, one of the top teams in the league, William. Yeah, no. Piece, uh, showed why they're that good, but it was it just came down to a few plays. You know, it, we had a, a few layups that just didn't go in. They made some tough shots. And so this is a team that if we see them in the playoffs that I'm sure they're not going to be too anxious to meet up with us again. Yeah, for sure. That makes them one for one on the night. They, they beat them at home last time.